In this video, I'm going to share with you how not to freeze on an air mattress. So often when people go backpacking and camping, especially in cold environments, they'll buy an air mattress, you think, oh, it's so good and sleepy, and uh, then they freeze at night. There's a reason for that, and actually there are two reasons for that. One, when you're sleeping on just a plain standard air mattress, the air volume in here, even though it doesn't look very big, is actually huge. And there's enough air transfer between the cold ground that is cooling the air down inside of your air mattress and your warm body, hopefully you're warm, you know, like a hot body maybe, and that the cold air or the cold ground conducting the heat out of the bottom of your air mattress overwhelms your body because the ground, especially if there's snow, is an infinite sink. I've slept on glaciers and Antarctic glaciers. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, there's no way you're ever going to warm that up. So when you're sleeping on an air mattress that is freezing your keister off, ding, ding, the first thing you're going to want to do is switch to an insulated air mattress. These are substantially more expensive. Uh, yeah, there's really no way around that. That's hard to deal with. Uh, this one, let's see. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the Neo Air X-Therm, X-Therm Extreme. This thing is super nice because instead of just air, just air in, inside my Pringles bag here, this bag, or this air mattress, actually has little crinkles inside of it, makes it a lot heavier and bigger, but those crinkles generate little small air pockets that my body can warm up and it generates air cells in between my body and the cold, hard, frozen ground. So that is the first step to warming up and not being miserable on your air mattresses, get a better thermally insulated air mattress. The next step up, and hang on, I'll show you what I do in super cold conditions. So hang on to the end of the video. If that's not cutting it, you need to get yourself a uh, down air mat. Yes, this is crazy big, it's heavy, it's expensive, but when you're sleeping on glaciers and ultra cold locations for weeks at a time or a month, these are super nice. There's some polar explorers who just go with the four inch foam air mat, and that way you don't have any problems with air mattresses, but of course you're carrying a huge foam mat, but you can, you can stab it with a knife, drop anything on it, and nothing will happen. I have punctured my air mat more than once, as you can see. So the next trick, and this is the key that I do, is instead of just laying on the cold air mattress, uh, is you don't want to do that, is instead you can take one of your spare jackets and simply lay it on the air mattress or actually zip it up around your air mattress. And I've also got a video on this about how not to keep sliding off your air mattress. Check out the uh, description that's got a link to that. But if you literally just put your other fleece jacket or another jacket that's not down because down squishes and it's not gonna do anything for you. But just putting this on here makes a huge difference in how cold or warm you're going to be on your air mattress. You just zip that bad boy up, lay on there, and you'll have a much toastier night. But when it gets to extreme, like, oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna get frostbite on my booty, right? Is what I do is I take my match or my, uh, my Z-Rest. Now, uh, it, I found, I've done tests, whether silver side up or yellow or green side up. Theoretically, silver side up supposed to be the way to go. I've tested both. I've, I've was cold both night or both ways. So who knows there? But what I do is I literally lay my Z rest or my foam mat on top of my air mat. And then I get myself some handy dandy paracord here. Check it out. Links below. You know, get some paracord. And what I do is I just cut enough of uh, paracord links. That way I can make a couple of loops around this thing and tie the paracord so that way the air mat stays attached to the Z-Rest and it makes all the difference for me wriggling around and fighting with it at night. So just some good quality paracord, no problem. So what I've seen other YouTubers do in other adventures is they put the foam mat on the ground and then, which is nice, it keeps you off the ground, but then they're still sleeping on the air mat and this is the key. There's a thing called cold soaking. Cold, like soaking, like soaking wet. When 
the nylons at minus 30 and minus 40 and below, it actually feels like you're touching metal, like a chunk of aluminum. If this were somehow aluminum and you touch that, that literally will start frostbiting your skin. It's so cold, it be actually begins conducting the heat out of your hand. I learned that term from the Air Force Survival Manual. Oh my gosh, that thing is a godsend. But you want to avoid touching your nylon tint, your nylon or you know, whatever synthetic fabric this is of your air mattress because that will freeze you. So by putting this foam, which does not conduct anywhere near as much as the cold soaking nylon on top of your air mattress, that can keep you warm down to crazy cold temperatures. This is the exact rig I take on Denali. I didn't even need my X-Pad mat, but uh, in Antarctica, I would use my X-Pad mat plus my Z-Rest combo because it was just that cold in early November. I have, I have people commenting, oh, it's never that cold in Antarctica. You've never been there on November 1. Let me tell you, whew, freaking cold. But by using the Z-Rest on top, not on bottom, but on top of my down insulated mat, which when I touched was like, holy cow, my fingers hurt. It made all the difference in my expedition to the South Pole, you know, if you read about that, or, you know, on Denali or whatever. Huge, huge difference. So that is simply the way to keep you from freezing when you're sleeping on your air mat, when you're camping, expeditioning, or doing whatever you're doing. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links below to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, and my show, Antarctic Tears and World Beyond. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your cold camping.